the D vending machine. So this is the validate function, uh, validates the input from the user, which is called if I'm in, uh, yeah, just to validate their input and make sure nothing, uh, only certain options we've selected. This is the second login message, uh, which is displayed for the upon that function. This is also another welcome message to me or not. So that into the main function. Uh, set provision uh, sets gaps to organize basically automatically with the like, two gaps. All the variables for the entire um, entire vending machine. Uh, use input value is one. Food or drink stores food or drink choice. Uh, Double using money as it's a decimal point. Um, stores using money as a double to ensure decimals can work. Uh, drink temperature. Uh, stores uses choice if it's a hot or cold drink. Uh, hot drink choice. Stores uses hot drink choice. Snack choice. Uh, that's the stores of snack choice. Uh, and cold drinks. It's cold drinks. Uh, this is the arrays. Um, so these are the costs, the prices, which are displayed to the user and also used to uh, take away from the user's uh, money. Uh, seven of them on all the arrays. Um, so just the hot drink prices, cold drink prices, menu prices, uh, snack prices, sorry. Uh, this here stores the uh, Basically, the items that the user can purchase, uh, which is called on later. So this uh, welcome this displays the welcome message. First of all, you've asked how much you uh, the user has to spend, and it's just uh, stored here in the sim function. Uh, the the sim okay. the entire thing is a do while loop, uh, just to make sure that okay. So we'll keep running and then use the virtual multiple items rather than just the one. So this calls the second welcome message, which is uh, just asking what the user would like to purchase. So the laptop just then goes up. So uh, then so this welcome message uh, outspace the user how much money they have left to spend, uh, and then a new line underneath that. So then uh, the user is asked if they want a food or drink, uh, which is used one or two, uh, as stated here and above. So. If the user wanted uh, food, it's an F statement just to easily put it away. Um, so the if statements are used to see if the user wants food or drink. System, this clears the, system, the console to make it be normal. Uh, see, so also it asks the user what snack they want. And then this displays the menu the from the array above to the user with uh with numbers next to it and charles used to generate the pound sign it will then validate the snack choice which uh this uh just to ensure that they can only all uh order stuff in the vision machine so Double item price stores the item price. Uh, and item price equals snack menu cost uh, bracket snack choice. Uh, it's just basically saying the item price is equal to the snack menu choice. If user money is greater than item price, then the, the user can purchase the uh, item when they have enough money. Whereas, uh, see how uh, snack menu, and then it dispenses that to the user. This then uh, takes away 
guys in price and user money, uh, which is uh, up here. Just to, so that basically just gets the change and then the change is displayed to the user. If if the uh, user does not have enough money, it will display to the user you do not have enough money. And then this whole statement is for uh, hot or cold drinks. So it declares a console, asks if you'd like a hot drink or cold drink. Uh, drink temp validate validates the user input, clears the system again, uh, displays the options again using an if statement like before. Um, essentially the same as the above, it displays the menu. Uh, hot drink choice it validates it again, stores the item price, uh, item price equals hot menu costs. Uh, square bracket hot drink choice takeaway one. Uh, the item price is just the same as the uh, the hot drink menu costs in order to calculate the chain. So if the user has more money than the item price, they can purchase the, uh, the gift and it will dispense it again, uh, just like the above. And then display the change, uh, the easy money. Else, if you can't afford it, it will just uh, display you do not have enough money. Um, so this again is the save if statement, just uh, for the um, cold drinks. The exact same, um, just an if statement's used. Um, this displays menu costs, validates the user's input, stores the uh, item price within the variable. The item price is equal to the cost menu, uh, cold menu costs. So that basically just uses um, these prices in order to get the uh, correct change to the user. Um, or then uh, if the user has, again, enough money for the item, it will spend, take the change away and it will display the chain. Uh, else else statement uh, else statement is still used to uh then tell the user the error displays so after they've come from the menu purchased whatever they would like uh, and the change is displayed it will ask you it will ask the user if they'd like to purchase another item uh one for yes two for no it's just asking the options it will then validate those two and uh clear the system so if the uh, one is used, uh, it will loop the entire uh, entire uh, code again, and it will just go back to the uh, second welcome message and run through it again, and it will just uh, the same result. Um, however, if they did not get to purchase another item. Uh, user money will be dispensed. Uh, so thank you for using the vending machine and system pause, which will uh, basically it will tell the user to uh, just uh, use any key and it will continue, and then it will end the program. So this is the validate function, which is called upon to uh, ensure the user's input is correct. So variable for the input uh, where it's stored. Uh, sin will store the user input uh, and then a while loop uh, just so if sin fails and the input is less than the minimum or the inputs make larger than the minimum then it will ensure the user basically has a valid input uh, so then it will display the try again message clear the input variable and then ignore the sin uh, and then it will take a new input until it gets one it's happy with. Uh, otherwise, it will just keep looping within the while loop and keep displaying the same messages. And uh, it returns the input then to the console. Uh, so this is the double validate. This is used for the user money. Um, it will uh, obviously store the money in this uh, user money, which is called upon. Uh, 
just whenever there are change or prices need to be taken away. Uh, stored here. This ensures the user, yeah, the user input is a valid input. Uh, if not, it will display the message, clears it, ignores it, and then gets a new input and it will keep reaping until it gets its desired input again. Uh, and just returns the username. Um, this is the uh, welcome message, so void will, um, it will basically just display this within the main function, uh, just keeping the rest of stuff out of the main function. Uh, displays welcome message, uh, display the little art the vending machine uses, and uh, it will enter, it will ask the user to enter the number allocated to the given option. So that's all the code. Um, Welcome to the vending machine art. Um, will ask you how much money you have to spend. Uh, what would you like to purchase? You have ten pound left to spend, and it will uh, give you the option of fuel drink. What snack would you like? Uh, seven options from the menu, the array. So uh, two, and um, this space is used creating the. Uh, is used from uh, the set precision uh, function. Uh, number two, the Darren Mobile's dispense. Your change is nine pound, uh, five pence. Would you like to fetch another item? Yes. Mm -hmm. drink. Uh, displays if you'd like a hot or cold drink. Uh, so all the options will show that. Uh, that shows the validate function works because it's not validated with ID07. Gina was dispensed. The change is £8.10, which is correct. Um, would you like to fetch another item? Yes. We'll get a cold drink this time. Uh, show validate works again. And then the sprite was dispensed. So I will just uh, use up all the money. To show that it will not let you purchase anything um, essentially with not without the money. Um, so it shouldn't let me purchase that. You don't have enough money, would you like to purchase another item? No, we run out of money. One pound ten is the skill dispense. Thank you for using the vending machine. Does anything to continue using that uh, pause function? Just pick it up. Mm -hmm. Function and yeah, the user has the item. Sorry. 